the Faith Chapel United Pentecostal Church, located at 1 Renfield Avenue in Kingston, Jamaica, welcomes you to our broadcast, Behold, He Cometh. It is indeed our pleasure to have you watching and listening in on our service today. As end-time prophecies unfold themselves, revealing the imminent return of the Lord Jesus Christ, there is no better opportune time to give your life to Jesus than today. As you listen in, may the Lord richly bless you in all wisdom, knowledge, and understanding in His Word. Hello, everybody. Pastor Dean, you want to help us sing tonight, Pastor Dean? Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Let me ask all those that are happy to be in the house of the Lord tonight to just wave your hands and praise the Lord. Praise God. Right, let, me know, let me ask all those that know that they are covered by the blood of Jesus tonight, stand to your feet and praise the Lord. Praise God. We're going to be singing a, a simple song. It's, a, a, it's an oldie but goodie. And I know that somebody's covered in this place tonight. And we want you to just join us and then sing. Sing. And let your voice ring tonight. Because you know that you're covered by the blood of Jesus. Come on. Stand in the field. If you know it, sing with us tonight. Come on. Have the choir. I'm covered. I am covered. Covered. Covered by you. I've been made whole I've been restored 
glory to your name, Jesus. You are worthy. Hallelujah. Could you stand? Everyone, everywhere. In this, in this atmosphere of worship, I would like to invite to come speak to us as he feels led by the Lord. He can call a Ramsey. Could you come, sir? Praise God, praise God, praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, you're wonderful tonight, Jesus. Hallelujah. Song says he leaded me. Can you just raise that song for me? He leadeth me, oh blessed thoughts, all words with heavenly comfort from like worshiping him it says praise is what I do can you read really, when I want to get close to you praise is what I do hallelujah Jesus hallelujah Jesus hallelujah hallelujah Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, I give you glory tonight, God. I give you honor. I give you praise. I worship you tonight, God.
tonight God we give you glory and praise tonight God we thank you for what you are about to do oh God because it's all you're doing it's not of me it's not of me oh God it's not of me oh God all glory and honor belongs to you and you only hallelujah 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 If you have your Bibles, I'm going to ask that you turn with me to two portions of Scripture. First being Philippians 1, reading verse 6. So that's Philippians 1, reading verse 6. And then we're going to Genesis chapter 37, reading verses 23 and 24. Praise God. Praise God. So Philippians 1 verse 6. And let us read together. Being confident of this very thing, that he which had begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. Praise God. Let us go to Genesis 37. Let us read verses 23 and 24. Let us read. And it came to pass, when Joseph was come unto his brethren, that they stripped Joseph out of his coat, his coat of many colors that was on him, and they took him and cast him into a pit, and the pit was empty. There was no water in it. Praise God. Let me ask Pastor Daly to pray for the word and for myself. Praise God. 
Great God, again we come before your awesome presence. Again we say thank you for the great God that you have been to us. Again we say thank you for being our savior, for being our friend. You have allowed us to come into the house again to worship you. You have allowed us to come into the house of the Lord again to express together our thanks to you. And we thank you for hearing the voice of our thanksgiving. We thank you for receiving us. I thank you for accommodating us. As we are here at this time, your servants stand to declare the words of God another time. We need to hear from you. We need a word from you. If we don't hear from you, we don't know what's going to happen to us. And so we pray that you will touch your servant right now. I pray, Heavenly Father, that you will hold him in the hollow of your hands. I pray that you will fence him around with your spirit. I pray that you will anoint him from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet, so that as he opens his mouth, words of life will emanate therefrom and minister to your people and to the visitors who are unsaved in this house tonight. I pray that, God, your word will have free course. They are already anointed, and the anointed servant, together with the word, will break yokes in this place tonight, and we thank you for it. Have your own way. Let your perfect will be done. We give you thanks. We lift you up on high in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, sir. You may be seated. Praise God. So good to be in the house of God today. Praise God. Philippians 1 verse 6. Being confident of this very thing, that he which had begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. Praise God. That was King James. And the New International Version says, Being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it unto completion until the day of Jesus Christ. And yet another translation from the Message Bible. There has never been the slightest doubt in my mind that the God who started this great work in you would keep at it and bring it to a flourishing finish on the very day when Jesus Christ appeared, praise God. Praise God. Praise God. I'm going to be just talking for a few minutes, you know, about Joseph. And then to see if I can bring the message out by just examining Joseph's life. So it is not necessarily the message, but he's going to help to bring out the message. Praise God. So we're just going to talk a little bit about him. We're going to try and just join up everything at the end. Praise God. God is good. God is good. And so the Bible tells us that Joseph was the eleventh son of Jacob. And we know that Jacob was the son of Isaac, who was the son of Abraham. Just a little history. And Joseph had some brothers. And his brothers did not necessarily like him. Praise God. His brothers did not necessarily like him. And the fact that Joseph would, you know, report on their bad doings when they were out did not make the matter any better. 
the fact that Joseph's father Jacob shows some level of favoritism towards Joseph did not help the matter at all. And Jacob did not necessarily, you know, conceal this. He made a coat of many colors for his favorite son, praise God. It is a strong possibility that at the dinner table, if Joseph had a preference for chicken leg, he would probably get the best one, praise God. We're just talking a little bit about Joseph. Eh? And then the fact that Joseph had some dreams that would see him elevated above his brothers. See them bowing down to him. Really did not help the matter at all. In fact, it made it worse. Praise God. And so the sum total of the matter is that his brothers, they were somewhat jealous and envious of him. They grew to dislike him. And as the opportunity would present itself for them to get rid of him, they sort of jumped at it. Praise God. And, you know, they, they, they were out one day away from the house, away from their father. And Joseph went out to meet them. And they saw him coming. And they conspired among themselves that we're going to get rid of this dreamer. We're going to get rid of him. And so they stripped off his coat of many color many colors and they cast him into a pit praise god praise god he was somewhat initially speared by reuben who you know intended to come and free him and then speared of death by judah who suggested that they sold him into slavery. Praise God. And so they eventually sold him to some merchant, who then sold him to Potiphar, the captain of Pharaoh's God. Praise God. Praise God. A young man betrayed by his own Betrayed by his own, praise God. Betrayed by the persons who he grew up with. And by all account, I would want to think that he thought his brothers loved him. Or else certainly he would not have gone out to meet them. Away. Praise God. And so one might think that such ill treatment followed by separation from both your country and your family and all that you know would somewhat produce in this young man bitterness, hopelessness, praise God. One would certainly expect him to possibly have a state of being a state of depression certainly could not expect him to be at his peak because his brothers his family close family have betrayed him and have sold him as a slave to be taken from everything that he knows to go into a foreign land. One could not really expect much progress from Joseph for any time soon for that matter. Praise God. Praise God. 
But this was far from the case. Joseph trusted God. And although he was sold as a slave to Potiphar, in Potiphar's house, as a slave, God blessed Joseph. And he found favor in Potiphar's eyes. Praise God. He proved himself to be industrious, trustworthy. Praise God. To, he, he made the best of the situation. You know, I, I know I was slave, you know, sold into slavery. But I'm not just going to sit down and mope and, you know, go through the whole depression thing. I'm going to make the best of my situation. For my God is with me. And he's there to deliver me. Praise God. Very soon, he became the overseer of Potiphar's house. Praise God. Man sold into slavery. Taken from his homeland, from everything that he knows. They have expected him to look, you know, depressed and down. But the man put himself together nevertheless because he trusted God. Put himself together well enough for, his, for Potiphar's wife to take an interest in him. And when she tried to seduce him, Time and time again. And he would not give in. Because he had much respect for both God and his master, Mr. Potiphar. She being tired of rejection. She spitefully and wrongfully accused him of attempting to make certain advancement towards her, praise God. Thereby, hungering Mr. Potiphar, who then imprisoned him, praise God. Praise God. First betrayed, almost killed by his own, sold into slavery, no, wrongfully imprisoned. Praise God. He's going to just sit in a corner now. Depressed. He's just going to lock off. Because just when he thought things was going his way. Here again. He's in prison. Locked up. Wrongfully. And one might be saying, how can you still serve God? How can you still serve God? When all these things seeming to be happening to you, praise God. How can you still serve God? Because certainly this last thing here must have been the last straw. But again... His trust and his faith in God had no dependency on where he was. It was way beyond that. Praise God. So if I'm a slave, I'm still going to serve God. If I'm a prisoner, I'm still going to serve God. From pit to prison. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. And here he was in the prison. And again, God blessed him. And he found favor in the eyes of the prison keeper. Such that he was placed in charge of the other prisoners. Praise God. Praise God. Eventually... He interpreted a dream for fear. And in interpreting this dream, fear placed him in charge of, let's call it a project, that would see him being 
fully in charge would see him be governor, so to speak, of not only Pharaoh's house, but also his land, his people. He was only second in Pharaoh's throne. Praise God. So now he was in the palace. From pit to prison and now into the palace. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. And you know it really must have been difficult for Joseph. I'm thinking about the thing to be betrayed by his own brothers. And just when, you know, he thought they were coming to take him out and to say, all right, you learn your lesson now, they only sold him so that it would be more profitable for them. Praise God. Praise God. But tonight, hallelujah, we need to understand that sometime before God can do great things in our lives. You know, we have to go through a process. Praise God. You know, God sometimes has to get rid of some things in our life as to, you know, get us down to that level so that he can build what he wants on top of us. Praise God. He has to move some things out of the way. Praise God. Hallelujah. We're just talking a bit about Joseph here. Praise God. You see, a builder, you know, when he's going to put up a house, for instance, you know, before the French windows and the mahogany door and the, the marble tile and the, 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 the jacuzzi and the pool and all of that, before all of that can, you know, be put in place, he has to do a lot of groundwork. You know, sometimes he has to clear up the land of garbage, bush, whatever. Sometimes the ground is unlevely and he has to sort that out. He has to do a lot of ground work. Praise God. And you know, the last time I was on a site, I believe it was one of your sites, sir. You know, I, I, I saw several hosts going up. In different stages. But the one that I want to look at in particular. Is one that it had a solid foundation. And it had some steel sticking out of it. I suppose that would hold whatever would come thereafter. That would be the strength. These steel that was sticking out of this very solid foundation. Praise God. This would, you know, form the strength. But understand tonight that all of this from ground up, it's a process. It's a necessary process. It requires some groundwork. And understand that if construction were to have stopped right there, each house would have a value. The one that is fully built and the one that is still at the ground level. Because it is work in progress. Which is coming on to my topic. Work in progress. Praise God. We need to understand that we are work in progress. And sometimes God has to do some ground work in our life. Hallelujah. It's not just going to come all at once. He's got to take us to some place and he's got to remove some things because he's going to build on top of that. I am a work in progress. Hallelujah. You are a work in progress tonight. Praise God. Praise God. And every work in progress, there is a value to it. Hallelujah. It might just be at the start. When you're doing up the books, there is a figure. There is a value for work in progress. Praise God. Praise God. We, we're talking about Joseph. We're talking about Joseph for a little here. Praise God. 
Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. You see, for an ordinary man to be cast in a pit, praise God. You know, you know, I, and, and that man would be going out of his mind. Because though the pit was empty, if rain starts to fall, this man could drown. And even if he doesn't drown, he's going to die of starvation, praise God. He'd be going out of his mind and if he spends long enough before he gets rescued, he may need psychiatric help. He had suffered a trauma, praise God. And you'd expect him to be in depression. Praise God. But this was not Joseph. Because he trusted God. He understood that God needed to do some grown work in his life. He understood that he was just a work in progress. And that God who had started this work is able to bring it to a flourishing finish. He's able to bring it to a complete end. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. He understood that yes, you know, this was just the rough cast. This was just the, the rendering. But the paint is coming. The French windows are coming. Praise God. The mahogany door, they are coming. Hallelujah. God is able to finish this great work in my life and in your life. He's able. And I believe beyond the shadow of a doubt that he is going to. Praise God. Praise God. I am a work in progress. I wonder if you could just touch yourself. I am a work in progress. Come on, touch your neighbor. You are a work in progress. Praise God, praise God, praise God. It's not going to come all at once. It's not going to come all at once. God need a testimony, praise God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And so if he has to sell you, as a slave, fine. You see, Joseph never marked it against his brother. He said, don't mind, you know, you, God sent me here to preserve your life. So I don't feel no way that you did that. That's fine, praise God. That's fine. That's fine, praise God. Praise God. I am a work in progress. I am a work in progress. Praise God. And I don't know what your situations are here tonight. But some of us could very well feel that we are in a pit. Praise God. We are in this, this place where we are all alone, so to speak. Praise God. By all accounts, our outlook on life just don't look good. Praise God. It's not that we are where we are. We, we just feel so trapped. You feel all alone. You're in a place when you look to the left. There is no one to help. When you look to the right. There is no one to help. In a place of emptiness. And darkness. Praise God. And it would seem as if. Your future is just getting dimmer and dimmer. By the second. Praise God. It just seems as if there is no one to offer some real help to get you out of that place. Praise God. You know, you, you look behind you and you see just one set of footprints and you just assume that is yours. Praise God. There is no friend to help you. There is no mother. There is no father. There is no brother, no sister. You're in a dark place. And you need some help. And you're just not seeing the help. All your outlook on life just seem as if it's going to come to an unfortunate end. Praise God. The bills, they are high and they're getting only higher. Praise God. The creditors, they are looking for you. You don't even, like when the phone rings, sir, is one of them calling. Don't like to hear when the door knock. 
or when somebody's at the gate, regardless of who, in your mind is one of the predators. Praise God. You find yourself hiding from people, sir. You need some help. You're just longing for a peace of mind. There are folks here just like that. You are tired, sir, of pretending that all is well when you are dying on the inside. You know, I had work today, sir, and I, it didn't even run across my mind to let you know. Because something tell me I had to be here. I must be here tonight to speak what God has laid on my heart. Praise God. And if you are here tonight, you feel in this very trap situation. I want to recommend to you tonight, Jesus. Praise God. He's able to deliver you. If you would just trust him tonight, you might have tried several other things, possible church, several other church. But Jesus is here for you tonight. He has a blessing. He has a solution with your name on it. If you would just give your life to him tonight, praise God. Praise God. You see, Joseph did not give up. You see, in the, in the, in the, in the pit, in the prison, he did not give up. He said he's going to just make the best of his situation, praise God. And I can just hear him now. You know, I can't see my way out, but I know beyond the shadow of a doubt that my God, who I have full trust in, is going to deliver me. You see, my situation might not look so good, but I know it's going to come true, praise God. Hallelujah. The situation might not look, don't look so good, Praise God, but that's fine because I'm a work in progress and I know that God is going to come true for me. He's going to deliver me as soon as he just take care of these groundwork. He's going to deliver me, praise God. I just need to continue trust him. I just need to continue holding on to his unchanging hand because my blessing is coming. My deliverance is here. Hallelujah. Somebody need to trust him. Somebody need to understand you are a work in progress. Hallelujah. Praise God. God is just taking care of a few things in your life. But he's going to fix you up. He's going to take you out of that pit. He's going to put you in that palace. Praise God. My God is here. And he's going to deliver you. Praise God. Hallelujah. So I don't care if I'm in prison or in the pit. For I'm going to make the best of my situation. I am not going to allow myself to go in a state of depression. I am not going to allow bitterness to come in. I am not going to let it consume me or cripple me. Praise God. I am going to press on in Jesus' name. Because I'm a work in progress. And my deliverance is right here. Hallelujah. Praise God. I am a work in progress I am a work in progress praise God I am a work in progress I am a work in progress God is not finished with me yet he's just started so to speak I have a way to go and I'm not going alone he's coming with me Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. So that if I must be a slave, I want to just be the best slave that I can be. And if I must be a prisoner, 
going to be the best prisoner I can be, praise God. Because God is with me. And no one else could put me there unless he signed off on it. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Tonight we just, some of us just need to get up from that place. Get up from that pity party that we have found ourselves in. Praise God. From that place of resentment. Hallelujah. That place that has, that has held us down. That has crippled and imprisoned us to pro from progress in life. Praise God. It's time that some of us turn over our full life to God. To give him a full chance. This one foot in and one foot out. Not going to work. Praise God. I am a work in progress. I am progressing. I am going somewhere. God is taking me somewhere. I am a work in progress. This what you see here is not the end of it. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, I give you glory and praise tonight. Hallelujah. The best is yet to come. Praise God. And so, you know, the, the enemy might have believed that he had gotten the better of you. But deliverance is on its way. Might have think that he has gotten you down. Praise God. But, you know, sorrow may endure for a night. But there's one thing I know. To my Jesus Christ, joy is coming in the morning. Praise God. So comes what may, I'm going to serve him. I'm going to serve him. So excuse me, Mr. Devil. Excuse me, my brothers. Excuse me, Mr. Potiphar. Excuse me, prison keeper. But I'm on my way over to the palace. For I am a work in progress. Hallelujah. This what you see is not the end. So just excuse me. Excuse me. I am on my way over to the palace. Excuse me, Mr. Potiphar. Fine, you did your part. Excuse me, Mr. Prison Keeper. You did your part. Mrs. Potiphar, thank you. But you see, I have to leave here now. Because I'm a work in progress. And I finish this part, so I need to progress. Praise God. I am a work in progress. Praise God. I am on my way over to the palace. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Praise God. Glory be to your wonderful name, God. You know, I had, I had a rough start, yes. Things never look so good in the first part, yes. But I'm not going to let that hold me down. I'm not going to let that stop me. I'm not going to let that cripple me. I'm not going to let that put me in a state of depression. Because I'm a work in progress. I can't stay one place too long. I've got to move in Jesus' name. I've got to go higher place in Jesus. Because I'm a work in progress. Nothing too stagnant is not good. Hallelujah, praise God. I am a work in progress. And I got somewhere I have to be. Over to the palace, Mr. Potiphar. Praise God. I am a work in progress. Praise God. Tonight, regardless of your situations, do not be discouraged. Be encouraged. Understand that the God you serve, while you're serving him, you will not be worse. You will be better. You will not be poorer. You will be richer. Praise God. You will not be lower. You will be higher. Praise God. That's the God that I serve. 
That is the God that I serve. Praise God. I am a work in progress. I am a work in progress. God, you see me, sir? This is not the last. No. This is just a stage. This is just a stage. Praise God. This is just the foundation. Praise God. And every trial that comes in my life, it is one more steel that is going to hold and strengthen that which is to come. God is going to do great things in my life and your life because he has started a great work in you and he's able, he's able, he's able, he's able to complete it to a flourishing end. I am a work in progress. Excuse me, devil. Excuse me, devil. I've got to leave you at this stage. I have to move on. Excuse me. I'm progressing. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. You can't be worse when you serve God. You have to be better. You can't be lower. You must be higher. Praise God. Not my God. Not King Jesus. Praise God. I'm a work in progress. I have a value. I was bought with a price. The account is settled. Hallelujah, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, bless your name, oh God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. My complete trust is into you, God. And comes what may, oh God, I know you can deliver me. Yes, oh God, I was in this pit. Yes, things never look so good. Yes, my own family put me here. But God, I know you're going to deliver me. So yes, I see the walls and it's dark. And no one is there. But I know you are. And you're going to deliver me regardless of what situation I am in. Hallelujah, you're going to set me free. You're going to deliver me. My God, my Jesus who has started this great work in me. He's going to deliver me. He's going to deliver you. If you would just put your trust into him, he's going to see you through whatever situations that you are in this moment, this very night, he's going to deliver you. This is just groundwork. You are a work in progress. He has no intention of leaving you where you are right where there now. He's going to move you. He's going to take you to higher places. That is my God, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you would just trust into him tonight. That is my God. That is my God. That is my God. That is my Jesus. He's no ordinary God. He don't stand still. He's a progressive God. Praise God. He's not a stagnant God. He's a progressive God. He just keep taking me from place to place. Praise God. Sometimes he bless me and I don't even see where the blessing is coming from. I could not fathom that it would work out that way. But that's just the kind of God that we serve. I am a work in progress. I am a work in progress. So excuse me, Mr. Bossman. Excuse me, Mr. Landlord. You can pressure my case all you want, but I'm going on to a better place. Excuse me, I'm heading over to the palace. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. God has some great plans. For you and for me tonight. It is far beyond and our imagination could ever imagine. Praise God. But tonight he just needs you to work with, work with, work with him. To trust him. Understand that your situations tonight, they are not final. They are not final. It's a process. God has to do some things in your life. But he's not doing them in vain. For he's about to bless you. There's a blessing 
a deliverance with your name on it. And I don't care how dim your situation is. My God can add light to it. My God can change it. That's just the God that we serve. And he brought you here tonight not by coincidence. But for you to recognize that you are just a work in progress. This is just a process. You are just at one point in the process. Praise God. And if you have not given your life completely over to him. I pray that tonight you would completely surrender your life to him. Praise God. And in the words of Winston, well, Sir Winston Churchill, in his famous speech, he said, never give up. Never give up. Never give up. Trust God and never give up. Praise God.